Hey, what's going on guys, Vice here, and welcome back to another video. This video might not be for most, but uh, my most viewed video, which is a texture pack time lapse, has uh, now got a lot of views and people wanting a tutorial, so here I am making a tutorial. So, yeah, let's start us off. So, for starters, you guys are going to need these two things, uh, paint.net being the photo editor. It's completely free, so there'll be a link in the description to, down to download this. Um, and um, the 1.8 default text pack, which will also be in the description. Now, you can use whatever text pack you want to edit, but uh, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you the default text pack. So, anyway, once you've downloaded uh, these two things, you want to right click. Oh, you're going to need WinRAR, Win by the way. Um, I might link that in the description as well. It's just the um, yeah opening thing for this. Anyway, you want to right click this, uh, extract to. Uh, to yeah. <laughs> Extract a 1.8 default texture pack and then open it and drag the texture pack out onto your desktop. And then you could just get you can get rid of that. Um, so, uh, first of all, you want to do is rename it to whatever you want your texture pack to be called. So, considering this is mine, I'm just going to call it Vice. Uh, actually, hold on. Vice's texture pack. There we go. Um, and now just uh, open, paint, open up paint.net. Go to file, open, um, find where your text pack is, and so it's Minecraft, textures, uh, items. Now, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to do uh, all the swords. Pretty much, you can like copy back, say, the sword to the pickaxe. Like It's pretty much the same process, just a different looking item. Now, I'm just going to look up sword. I'm just going to grab the uh, diamond sword for starters. Um, now, in that video, you guys might have seen me do something with the with the sword. How I um, where I blurred the middle. Um, honestly, I don't think that looks very good anymore. But a lot of people want to know how to do that, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So first of all, you want to go to image, um, resize, and make this 800 by 800. It's just a good, you know, it's HD, but not. 2 HD, I mean it is, but you know whatever. And um, your um, th your resampling things sh would would normally be this one. I don't know how to say it, but yeah, it'd be that one. You want to change that to nearest neighbor. If you if you just leave it on that, it'll go like when it, when it's all big, it's gonna go all blurry and horrible. So um, if you go to image resize and change that to nearest neighbor. Make sure it's 800 by 800. It will stay the same and it won't go all blurry. Alright, now what you want to do is you want to duplicate the layer. So now you've got two swords. And just select the uh, middle using the magic wand tool. And the tolerance is at about 50. And, so just, and it should select everything. Go to effects, blurs, Gaussian blur. And just bring that up to like, I don't know. I reckon 30 is good about that and uh, yeah so that's pretty much how you do it all right but I do want to show you a different sword design um, because I don't want I don't want this video to just be that so uh, I'm just gonna make a pixelated sword so I'm just gonna delete everything that's here and pretty much just start from scratch don't bother about like having colors at start uh, just go with a black and pretty much just just do whatever you want pretty much just um, I don't know it's not it's not very hard to just kind of create a sword you know um, I'm not the best at it, but like obviously because I don't really do these anymore. But yeah, it's just kind of mess around with it, see what you come up with, kind of thing, you know. Maybe and you can make your sword shorter than it usually would be um, but yeah I don't know just kinda do whatever with it to be honest um, just kinda mess around with the pixels and you will get it eventually um, so yeah that's the outline of my sword I'm just gonna go along with this and see what I can come up with so yeah let's actually you know what may as well can I oh. actually no I prefer that okay yeah, let's get into the uh, coloring, I suppose. Yeah. 
Alright, so once you've made your outline here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer here. I'm going to call this the black outline. Uh, I'm going to call it black outline. Just to make... You guys don't have to, but I'm just going to make this so you guys understand it a little more. I'm going to name this one color. So, uh, I'm just going to call... From now on, I'll call this one black outline and this one color. So, what you want to do is go to your black outline and select it in the middle. And um, also... So, click on add. So, this one... This one replaces, this one adds, and that one subtracts. So uh, that's on your magic wand tool. So now you can just select all of these. Don't click shift, otherwise it will uh, select everything, and you kind of don't want that in this uh, case. Now you want to go to your color and make this one, make this one a blue, uh, a dark blue, and then make this one a light blue. And then just drag. Uh, actually, you want to make it go from dark to light, so just like that. Um, and don't worry, it's not gonna it's not gonna look like that. It's it's gonna look it's gonna look good in the end. Um, and then you want to do the same for the for this here. Just select everything. All right. So now once you select everything, go back to color and change. Just uh, yeah, get get a dark. Once again, a dark, a really dark blue, and then a not so dark blue. I want to make this one a little darker than the other one, and go from um, uh, light to dark, up like that. And now I want to get the wood color, like that. That's a bit light. Change it down a little bit. Still a bit light. All right, that's good. Just like that. All right, now you want to move the black outline up above the color. Double click on the uh, black outline and change the opacity to whatever you think looks about right. Um, you're obviously going to need to adjust some things like around here. Um, I'm probably going to um, move this onto another layer. By simply just doing Control X and creating a new layer and pasting it. Now I'm gonna make sure to deselect. Uh, deselect is um, Control D, by the way, guys. I probably should have been telling you that. Control D is um, to deselect. Um, so you want to double-click the black outline and change the opacity down uh, to whatever you think looks good. I think. That looks pretty good. Just, just whatever looks good, guys. Uh, I wouldn't recommend copying what I am doing. But. And then I think I'm gonna get rid of this one in the middle because otherwise it's a bit dark. Oopsies, wrong layer. So once you've done all that, um, just go to uh, image and click flatten, and that'll flatten everything into one uh, one layer here. Now you can go to adjustments and go to hue slash saturation and mess with the brightness. Actually, that's not the best place to do brightness. Go to adjustments, and you can click brightness and contrast and change around the brightness to make it a little brighter. Change the contrast, you know, just kind of mess around with however you want. Uh, I think. Yeah, it looks good. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I think I'm going to leave mine about there, maybe. There we go. Alright, and there you go. So, that's pretty much how you make your sword. Um, it's it's pretty simple, to be honest. Like, it's, it's not hard. You just kind of mess around with however you're doing it, and it will kind of just come together. You know, file, 
save as and save it in the items as diamond sword click yes okay all right now to change the textures for the rest of the swords you want to go to file open uh, you just want to go to textures uh, items sword uh -huh, sword up here select all of the all of the ones that you didn't change open I'll open up all of them and then you just want to want to copy your diamond sword and remember that this is a gold sword right here paste it in and select everything but the handle pretty much all you need to do make sure this is on um, add go to adjustments use that hue slash saturation and change this to more well, gold color pretty much and remember you can change around with the saturation to make it you know just mess around with it and the brightness uh, I wouldn't recommend changing the brightness so it just makes it kind of look cloudy sort of thing um, anyway for me that that's pretty good gold color and then the iron sword iron sword a little more tricky but we can do it select everything alright so the, uh, the iron sword is a little more tricky because obviously you can't get like a white color so the best you could do is just change this to zero and change the saturation down to the bottom go to adjustments hue uh, contrast I mean brightness slash contrast change the contrast up and the brightness up change the contrast down a little bit otherwise it makes it look weird and uh, but obviously you can mess around with it a little more kinda looks like a stone sword at the moment um, which which sucks but It, it just looks like a shiny iron sword. <laughs> um, now the stone sword. Stone sword is uh, really easy actually. You just want to select it all once again. Adjustments. And pretty much this would be 100. And you sort of turn that saturation all the way down. And you got stone sword. Pretty easy. And this one, uh, by the way, Control C and Control V. Control V is to paste it in. All right, so adjustment, use slash saturation. Change that back to 100. Uh, you'll remember everything that you did. That's why white goes there. And go to your nearest wood color. And. looks pretty good to me. And there you go. And then you just want to control S. Control S them all. And there you go. Alright guys, so now I'm just going to show you how to actually put your text pack into Minecraft. So what you want to do is hold down the Windows button and the R button and it should come up with a little window here. And all you want to type in is percent app data. Percent click enter and dot minecraft should show up it should be near the top um, if not the top but just click dot minecraft and uh, just go to resource resource packs here and go to um, yeah so you're just in here and then just simply drag your text back in um, <coughs> there you go then you can just close out of this and open up minecraft as you can see just a default swords um, if you go over here resource packs and you scroll down to find uh, your text pack, it'll say the name of your text pack. <coughs> Just wait for it to load. So yeah, there we are. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, hit the like button. And if this helped, hit the like button and let me let me know. Um, if there's any other thing you have problem with, problems with, guys, let me know in the comments and I might make a video on it if it's too hard to uh, reply to in the comments. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.